Hey guys, what's up? This is Carlos Grace from joyduck.com and today what I got for you is a review of CyanogenMod 6.0.0 for the Nexus One. Uh, this is Cyanogen's Froyo ROM that everybody's been waiting to get their hands on for a while. This is uh, 6.0.0 RC1. A big thanks to everybody who worked on this ROM, Cyanogen of course, Chris Sawyers, K-Mobs, all those people. Just thank you for all your hard work. We really appreciate it. Uh, so without any further ado, let's get right into this. Alright, so before I get all in depth with uh, the new features that it adds, I'm going to answer a question that someone asked me on Twitter. Uh, they were asking, what version of Android is this? And I responded, this is build number FRF91. So this has been by no means a tutorial on how to get this ROM or how to, or like what devices. Obviously it's on the Nexus One right now. Um, this is just a pretty much basic overview of the features it adds uh, to Froyo. Because you've already had videos on Froyo and Cyanogen, so you know what both of them are all about. So let's see what they're like together. Let's start with just the home screen. This is exactly how you're going to get it right when you flash it. It's going to be exactly like this. Um, you're going to see the Google search widget, uh, which has uh, the apps, uh, all web apps, all that cool stuff. Um, and then you've got your uh, home screen tips, but it also adds as something called Bro Tips, which was made by uh, K-Mobs. And it just shows kind of inside jokes to the Android community, which is kind of funny. And it has uh, a custom Nexus Live wallpaper that comes with it, which is pretty cool. You can see at the bottom they aren't on the little dock thing. They aren't uh, the stock Froyo icons, the browser and the phone. This is because it's using ADW Launcher and it is Launcher version 0.9 and it's made by Anderwebs. You can get it on the market, uh, but this is what it comes with. Uh, so you're going to be using ADW Launcher if you use Cyanogen Mod 6.0. One thing worth noting, this is overclockable to 1.113 gigahertz. Okay, I guess the first thing I could show you is the music. It doesn't come with music, obviously, but it has a new music application. Uh, let's launch it. Where is Musica? Musica. Uh, right here. Music. Okay, so if we just go to the song we were playing, you can see how the live wallpaper is still in the background. Uh, it's not, you can't actually interact with it, but uh, it's there and you can see it. And uh, to go along with the new application, we've got tons of new widgets for this. And this is made by uh, a guy named Elliot Stalker. So we've got different widgets. We've got a completely square one that goes from this size to all the way taking up the whole screen, like that. Um, and we've got the normal one, but it also has the uh, album art, so if you press play, you can see it has the album art there, and on there it has the album art also. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I like that it is smaller. I like this one the best, because you can just put that pretty much anywhere, and it looks fine. If you don't have the stock headphones that the Nexus One came with uh, and you're playing music, you can long press the volume buttons and it'll skip the song. Well, maybe it won't. Maybe, oh, maybe that's just one of the things. Yeah. Here, I'll just turn the volume off. That's only when the screen is off. So you can hear the music. I long press that. Skips the song. Now let's head into the settings, and they added a thing near the bottom named Cyanogen Mod Settings. Cyanogen Mod Settings, sorry. Uh, you've got a bunch of settings actually, it doesn't look like a lot, but it goes really in-depth. In uh, let's just go through them. Uh, application Settings, we've got Allow Application Moving, uh, which is Allow Moving of Any Application to External Storage. We'll click that, it's pretty much apps to SD. Install Location, Automatic, Internal, External. I just keep automatic. Uh, I'll 
go to the point where this actually does have apps to SD enabled. Uh, input settings, you've got, this is really cool, haptic feedback tweaks, uh, where you can choose when you want it, how strong you want it, it's it's really cool. Uh, I'm surprised that they even put this in because I wouldn't have thought of that. Uh, I don't think anybody else would have. It just shows their genius. Um, you've got trackball to wake, trackball unlock, menu unlock, and always pulse, which is the trackball is always pulsing when the screen is on. We've got performance settings, and it says warning, dragons ahead. Uh, it's basically warning you that if you mess with these too much, it might just royally f up your device, and you might not be able to use it for a while. Uh, use JIT, enable surface dithering, uh, and VM heap size. Not sure what that means at all, but there you go. Now we've got user interface. Uh, this is really cool because you can set like the battery and clock battery percentage, and you can have the battery percentage color. Something really cool that I like, because I'm a big wallpaper guy, um, there is new wallpapers under ADW Launcher Wallpaper Gallery. There's some you know, like the Signage Mod Surfer Guy and the little android and the weird squiggly things. Uh, but then there's some, like an android on a brick wall, there's... I don't even know what that is. Uh, they're just some really cool... really cool wallpapers that are pretty much all new. I've only seen a couple of these, and of course we have that one. Why would we leave that out, you know? And one very, very, very important feature to me, because I've been running out of space a lot, is if you go to Applications, Manage Applications, you click on any application, there's an option to move to SD card. You click that, it says Moving, it's on your SD card. Simple as that. Uh, this works for all the apps I have. I don't know if it's going to work for all the apps you have. Uh, I can't speak for you, but you can move as many of them as you want to your SD card, which is cool because it saves a ton of space. Now, I don't actually own a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, but uh, I've heard that you can actually tether a Bluetooth keyboard and or mouse to this. Um, I'm reading the changelog right now. It says Bluetooth HID support and mouse pointer support, so I'm going to assume those are both the Bluetooth things, but if not, I apologize. Alright, last but not, not least, uh, there are some changes in the browser, uh, so it says on the change log. I think these were in Froyo already, but uh, I could be wrong. We have full screen browser support, so if we go into settings in the browser, you'll see full screen. It won't be checked. I already checked it, um, and you can have full screen browsing. Uh, it also says it has uh, accelerometer enhancements, uh, so, and it goes both ways. You can set it to go upside down. I don't really see the point in that, but here we are at droiddog.com. Uh, actually, you know what? This is a good idea. Let's go. You. Whoa. It's weird. Uh, I guess I'll type like this. Uh, YouTube.com. I'll show you the uh, flash content. Got a desktop version. Uh, let's just click on random video and it's gonna ask me if I want to do it via browser or YouTube. I'm gonna say browser. And that is weird. It says I don't have flash support for this video. Uh, I guess you have to, it's not implemented in the ROM, you have to download the flash 10.1 beta from the market. Uh, so that's pretty much it for just the basic overview. Uh, if I find anything remarkably new, I will include it in a video some other time. Uh, I've got a bunch of reviews coming up of products, uh, so stay tuned for that. You can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash carlosgraves, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.